Okay, we've removed the covers. And in the back here, we have a Sabertooth 2x32 uh, motor controller. It'll drive uh, the motors up to 32 amps. <clears throat> There's also a USB port on this device here so that we can configure it for doing various things. To the right of that is the uh, Spectrum 5 channel uh, receiver. Uh, if we look at it down here, you'll notice it does have some suspension to it. This was originally a wheelchair, electric wheelchair. Uh, the suspension is probably not as good as if you had a lot of weight on it. We stripped a lot of weight off, of course, because <clears throat> it was designed to hold a purse, and so we're not sure how the suspension is going to really work. It might just be a waste of space. Um, of course, it has a new camel paint job on it, and it runs two uh, universal batteries. They're UM, I think, 1235s. Uh, they're a little bit different than a deep cycle. Uh, they're made specifically for the wheelchair application to last a long time and uh, have a sustained rate of output. Okay, now we're going to try to drive it. Uh, I've got to do two things with my right hand. Normally I run the video cam with the right hand, but I'm going to run it with the left hand and the remote control with the right hand. Turn it on. Receiver's hot. And go forward. You can see it's pretty nimble, it turns pretty quick. One thing I have to do is set the, uh, the brakes on it. It has brakes that are normally applied when you release the power. So if you release the power, you'll notice it's rolling backwards down the hill. That's an additional, and it's doing it all by itself here. Uh, with power off so <clears throat> I need to uh, reactivate the electric brakes they're on this right now the brakes are disengaged it's gonna take a relay set and one more uh, servo to actually power it but uh, that's it I'm not I'm not sure whether I want to run it forward in this direction or have this be the front I can configure it either way to have the driving wheels pull it or to have the drive wheels push it. Not sure yet. And I gotta be careful because this thing will go under the Jeep. And it goes pretty fast. A little all terrain kind of thing here. The cover is loose. But with a little fine tuning. Like I say, I'm, I'm right-handed, I'm running the video camera with the left hand, running the <coughs> remote control with the right hand. So there it is, that's our 007 camera base.